Yo, what is up guys? It is Kobe here with another Black Ops 2 video. Uh, this is my second installment of my little series where I try to explain the most effective way to acquire the diamond camos as fast as possible. Now, in my last video I covered the submachine guns, so if you missed that, go check that out. But in today's video, I'll be going over the assault rifles. There are 9 assault rifles, which makes them the largest group of weapons in Black Ops 2, and probably the group that takes the most amount of time to get the diamond camos for. So because of this, you know, any and all tips regarding getting these camos faster are extremely helpful, so that's what I'm going to try to help and bring you. So starting off, this is something I said in the last video as well, but I want to say it again. Uh, when going for headshots, always try to use the highest level unlocked weapon possible. Meaning once you level up and unlock a certain gun, use that gun. Because once you prestige, you won't be able to use that gun until you unlock it again. And the last thing you want to do is complete all the earliest weapons, prestige, and be left with nothing to work on. And again, this tip is just for the guys that are trying to get all the diamond camos as fast as possible. Obviously, if you just want to get one gold, you know, just use that gun. But trust me, from experience, you want to be constantly working on a weapon. Another thing that I also stated in my last video if you are someone that likes to prestige the weapon as you play, whether it be for more XP or the clan tag or the emblem, or just for the sake of doing it, once you get all your headshots challenges completed and you move on to the miscellaneous challenges, prestige your weapon. So when you go for your no perks and no attachments challenges, you won't have the attachments anyway so it really won't matter and you just level up your gun as you go. But onto weapon specific tips, so first for the TAR, the SCAR, and the AN94, these weapons for me personally were like incredibly easy to get the headshots for. They all shoot pretty slow compared to the other weapons, so all you really have to do is aim for the chest and typically by the third bullet the recoil will have already lifted your sight towards the enemy's head automatically. So for attachments really anything is fine, but personally I really like the iron sights for all of them. But yeah, other than that it's really up to you. For the Type 25, this thing shoots fast and you know how I was using it, not really like an SMG but just more of an aggressive assault rifle. But for attachments, I really like the suppressor and stock. Again, just the standard iron sight. And if you really want to use primary gunfire, fast mags can be pretty helpful as well because the Type 25 just unloads bullets incredibly fast. But moving on, we have the M27 and the M8A1. Both of these guns are really accurate and even from really long ranges too. So I just use them like a normal assault rifle with a red dot sight and anything else that you want really. Don't really like suppressors for them. I felt like I wasn't getting as many headshots when I had it on. Uh, but yeah, those two are a piece of cake to get. And the last kind of group I have consists of the SWAT, the FAL, and the SMR. And for headshots with these weapons, I personally like the target finder. And I'm sure a couple of you guys, you know, despise it and just think it's the newbiest crap ever. But for getting headshots, I really do like it. You know, not because of the red box that it gives you. That doesn't help at all you know with getting headshots but the sight reduces sway a ton on the weapons and with these three guns you only need like two shots to the head so limiting sway is way more important than reducing recoil but other than that you know I like to use quick draw because the ADS time is kind of long for my taste with the target finder and of course if you don't have a trigger finger and want to use select fire on the Fallon SMR that's an always an option too but I do not suggest select fire for the SWAT for one I'm pretty sure there's like some weird glitch that all the bullets just go dud, you know, they don't do anything. I think Drifter did video or something like that. I'm not sure if that's been patched, it probably has been. But just anyways, I really don't like Select Fire anyway. But yeah, for the Assault Rifles, you know, after you get all the headshots, doing the rest of the challenges is pretty damn easy. The difficulty of the Assault Rifles Diamond isn't the actual challenges, it's just because there's 9 of them, so, you know, obviously it's going to take some time. But they do look pretty sick, you know, so if you want them, definitely go for them, they're not that hard. But kudos to the guys that actually grinded out all 9 weapons and got them Diamond. If you guys got them, or maybe close to getting them, let me know down below, because, you know, that is still an achievement, I gotta admit. But that pretty much wraps this up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If we could get up to 150 likes, that would be really awesome. I appreciate it very much. It really does help out my channel. But next video in this little series will either be on the shotguns or the snipers. If you guys rather one over the other, just let me know down below as well. But until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.